Okay, for go one, ahead. The first two things. For one, and hear me clear, hear me clearly before you speak. I'm gonna give you the first okay. example. We we talked about this the other day on the phone. During the presidential debate, the moderator, I forgot the person's name, asked him, denounce white supremacy. If you go back and look, see, that's another reason I wish it would have been on my phone, because I was going to pull the video up so we can look at it. She mm -hmm. said, denounce white supremacy. He paused. You have repeatedly we criticized the, the vice president for not specifically calling out Antifa and other left-wing extremist right. groups. But are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what, what, you you what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and, like and right proud boys. White supremacists and right proud boys. Proud boys, stand back and stand by. Because it caught him off guard. You know what I'm saying? It mm -hmm. caught him off guard. Denounce white supremacy. Uh, uh, well, okay, well, well, okay. Who, what do you want me to say? You know what I want you to say? Denounce white supremacy. Sit up and say, I'm against mm -hmm. white supremacy. That is bad for the country. Blah, 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 blah. We don't need to hear it. Say that. There shouldn't have been a, what do you mm -hmm. want me to say? I just told you what I want you to say. Denounce white supremacy. Mm -hmm. Period. He now, paused right. on that. Now, let me. Oh, oh listen, listen. Now, Tell let me my wrong first. He paused okay. on that. Then he came back. I know what you're going to say. He came back and said the good boys, blah, 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 this and that, or pro proud boys, whatever they are, this and that. But initially, she yeah. said, denounce white supremacy. Don't sing the white mm -hmm. supremacy as a whole. Denounce it. He couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. that to me, that's the, same, that's the same as saying if they would have had Snoop Dogg on the platform, they would say, hey, Snoop, denounce people that smoke marijuana. Sit here and say that they are bad and that you don't want to see it anymore. Snoop can't do that because that's his fan base. If he sit up here and denounce marijuana smokers, mm -hmm. those are the people that made him. Though, if he sit here and denounce them, he's going to lose half his fan base and half his album says because he is a marijuana smoker. So he got to watch how he mm -hmm. carefully say that. You understand what I'm saying? So when they say Trump denounced white supremacy, but, he had to watch how he carefully said that because these are people that voted him in office. So he, he careful. Right. What, do you, what do you want me to say? Yeah. Who do you want me to say? Denounce white supremacy. That's what I want you to say. Right. Like, okay. Stand back and stand by, which means is stand back for the moment, but stand back for when I need you. Mm -hmm. But see, that was that's why that's what I'm saying. The media want to use that question to trap Donald Trump. That's, that's what why he said. He that's not the media. That's what he said, man. That's what he said. No, that's but, what yeah, what he said was he said. When she said denounce, said the white denounce white supremacy. white supremacy. They didn't say denounce white supremacy. They said denounce the white supremacists. All right. Same thing, and Patrick. She, he, he beat said, around that. No, no, he, no, he it beat ain't. Around because that, he knew they were trying to trap him. And he said, he said, tell me the name. Who do you white want? White supremacist. To Everybody who's a white supremacist denounce all of that. Now, Don't pick one out of five groups. But this the thing. All of that. All of that. But this, why can't this you is why. All of that? Let me explain why. Because when you hear white supremacists, you hear all militia groups. Like you thinking the, all the militia groups that, that have supported Trump, like the Proud Boys and stuff like that, are white supremacists. And they're not. And that's what the media was trying to do. They was trying to get Trump to denounce the Proud Boys. Because the Proud Boys are militia group that supports Trump. And they, they use, told him to denounce white three, supremacy as a whole. Uh, and, and once he no, said, they, once they said the passion, once they said that, all he had to say was, okay, all white supremacists, white supremacists, I'm denouncing that. Uh, I want mm -hmm. equal equality in this country, or blah, 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 blah. But white supremacists as a whole, yeah. I'm denouncing that. He, he would not say that. And you but, saw that. He would not say that. Why? Well, he did. Hey, why? Jamal, he done, he's done it 17 times before that, right there. I've never seen it. And I'm going to see you, I'm going to send, send you the clip of it. Of him saying that since 2005, he, be, he they asked him that question to trap him. That's why he paused. It's no because trap because if you're not a white supremacist, you would denounce all of it. Like me, they they, they just said the same thing to me. Hey, 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 Jamal, denounce black racism. 
I'm not going to say what you want me to say. Uh, the Black Panthers, no, I'm going to denounce black racism altogether because I'm not with racism. All right. All right. What if they say Jamal denounce uh, black supremacy? Now, that means you would have to denounce the Black Panther Party. You would have to denounce the Nation of Islam. And you have to denounce uh, Black Lives Matter because white people believe that all three of those groups are black supremacists. Now, are they black supremacists? That's, that's, that's somebody's opinion. The base, Think base about it. It's, it. it's right. It's the Nation of Islam black supremacists. No, in, your, so. in your point of view. No. No. It's the Black Panther Party uh, black supremacists. No. And from your point of view. No. And so that's the same thing on Trump's side. In his mind, he's thinking about groups that they label as white supremacists. So he was like, name the group. Because he went, just like you went and denounced Black Lives Matter, he went not finna denounce the Proud Boys because black people think the Proud Boys are white supremacists. And they really not. Just like some people in Black Lives Matter are not black supremacists. So what some he people say? in the Nation of Islam. He said, Proud what? Boys, stand back and stand by. Which meaning, I'm not denouncing y'all, but just now, but just the racist acts that y'all are doing, stand back, hold off on it right now, and stand by for when I need you to act no. again. You can't deny right. that one. Now, you can't deny that one. No, I'll Even if you're going to support him, I get that, but you can't, deny, you can't deny that one, man. You can't I, deny that one. Listen, if you, and I have personal experience with the militia group, all right? All right, when I, um, when I, I started Boycott Beyonce, all right, when she did the whole thing for the Super <laughs> Bowl against the police, okay? I started Boycott Beyonce. People in Chattanooga, it got so big that police stopped, like, protecting her at her concert. People in Chattanooga start sending me, like, hate messages. One dude told me I had a hit. They put a hit out on me. Uh, all this crazy stuff that was happening. Because I started to boycott Beyonce. All right, so I put it on Facebook. Of the public safety director of the city of Chattanooga came to came to my house. You know him because he taught us in high school. Uh, Paul Smith, Paul he Smith. Was the public safety director. Yeah, he was on the documentary. He, right came, here, yeah. he came to my house and was like, Pat, there's a whole bunch of chatter. Uh, people coming after you want you want to do something and harm you or your family. You need to chill out, stay off Facebook. And I was like, I'm not doing it. So I get on Facebook and I put that out there. When I put that out there, guess who came to protect my home? The white militia. They ain't the Proud Boys. They're called Three Percenters. These dudes came to my house. They was like, do you got a gun? I was like, nope. They gave me money to go buy a gun. They was like, you know how to use it? I was like, nope. They trained me on how to use shotguns, pistols, everything. Then they slept outside of my house. Somebody brought pictures to my house with a note saying that they were going to get me. They slept. This militia group, this black guy, they slept outside of my house to protect That's me. Because you were standing up. That's because you were standing up for them. That's why. But that's but I wasn't even stand, it wasn't even standing up for them. I was standing up for the police. And so they saw people like attacking my family. They're like, man, this dude, he ain't doing nothing to hurt nobody. He just got an opinion. And so they came and protect me. The proud boys do the same thing. So when Trump said stand by, stand down, he know that they are always training. Like they are training for like if the government is in the constitution. If the government was to ever take over and start dictating to the people and become tyrants, the people that's going to protect me and you is going to be that militia group. So that's what they are. The, the person over the Proud Boys is a person of color. He not even white. And so that was the issue with Trump. Now, could he have said it better? Yeah. You, you I think damn right he could have. Yeah, you damn right. He oh. could have said he could have said it better. In the second debate, did you see where he did what you said? In the second debate, they asked him, Are you going to denounce white supremacy? He said, Look, I denounce all white supremacy. I've been doing it. I denounce all white supremacy. He came no, out I didn't and said, see that. The second debate, yeah, he, he's, he, he, no, the second debate, he bagged out of the second debate. No, this the second debate is going to be tomorrow. It's the town hall, the town hall that they did on the two okay. different channels. Well, I didn't they had see one that. on ABC. But she asked him, that was the first question again. She's like, so are you ready to denounce? He's like, I denounce white supremacy. I've done it and I'll do it again. He, and well, he I, went I down the line of who he denounced. Now, did they put that on the news? 
No, because they don't want black people to know that. That's been my whole point is that the news keeps black the black community emotional about him when he actually he don't even need our vote. He don't need our vote to win. He won he without us. He do. He won he without us the first time. And so what he trying to do, he like, no, I see y'all been taking advantage of all these years. I'm trying to help. Please listen to me. Like he, have, I've been invited to the White House three times, and it ain't just me. It's a whole bunch of people like me that that have gone there. He like, and the first thing he said said to us, Jamal. First thing he said, Ma, he said, "Y'all belong here." When I was in the White House, it was people crying. They had their pictures of their grandmama and great grandmama. Like I never thought I'd make it to the White House. Black people crying. He said, "Let me tell y'all something." He said, "Y'all belong here. Your ancestors built this place." Now, the news didn't play that. Guess what the news played? We all was paid to be there to be with Donald Trump. They didn't play what he sp said to us and how he spoke to us and was like, I'm going to do everything in my power to help your community rise from the ashes. They didn't play that, but they want everybody to believe that we were paid to go and support Trump. Uh, hold up, Patrick. Hold on one second. All right, all right, all right. Now, here go my next thing, Patrick. On the, on the racist tip. I know you saw this. I saw this myself. When Trump posted a video on his Twitter account of some Trump supporters, and at the end of it, it was a man yelling, white power, white power. Did you see that? Uh, I'm trying to, I don't remember that video. Let me educate you on that. So what happened was, uh, uh -huh. I forgot what state it was in. I forgot what state, I don't want to say the wrong state. I forgot what state it was in. But it was, a, it was a, a group of people rattling outside of a building or whatever who were Trump supporters, and there was you no know, Trump, Trump, Trump. At the end of, and at the end of the little segment, it was a man. He was in a, I never forget, he was, he was in a, like a golf cart or something. He was like, white, they rolled, he rolled by in the golf cart. Oh, the golf white cart, power. yeah, white I remember power. that. White power. Yeah. The White House press secretary also defending the president after he approvingly retweeted this video of one of his supporters. White power. McEnany claiming Trump didn't hear that racist slogan. And listen to the video before retweeting it. He did, and he did not hear that particular phrase. So they went up. Now, I'm, I'm just going to make these days. I forgot the date, but I'm just going to make these days up. To yeah. Scenario. So he posted that video on Monday. So Monday it went crazy. Tuesday went crazy. Wednesday, he pulled it down. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then when they tried, how they defended that was, oh, before Trump posted his, the spokesperson for the White House or his secretary or whoever it was, Made, went public and said, oh, when the president posted that video, he didn't see the end of it with the guy yelling white power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. You saw that. What happened, and this is my personal opinion. I believe this. Yeah. This is my personal opinion. You posted that. You saw that man yelling. So let's, let's say this first, let, before I go my personal opinion, let's go on yeah. uh, what the state said. The president didn't see that. So basically, you're just taking clips that you're not watching, posting them on your, on, on your account without looking at them. This, you, you, too, you too smart to do something like that. You're not going to mm -hmm. take a clip just a minute or two minutes long, you just watch 30 seconds of it and post it. You're not going to do that. You're, mm -hmm. not, you're, not, you're not dumb enough to do nothing like that because you don't know right. what's on the whole clip. So my personal opinion, you saw that whole clip. You saw it from the beginning because these are your supporters. So you saw it from mm -hmm. the beginning to end. You saw that man yelling white power and you posted that. You wouldn't have posted that if you didn't agree with him yelling that. Now, once mm -hmm. you posted it and then on, I'm, so I'm just making these days up. Yeah. On Monday. So all of Monday, it started getting a bunch of backlash. All the tools, all the tools, it got a bunch of backlash. Wednesday, you pulled it down. My mm -hmm. personal opinion is, you know, inner circle got to telling you, hey, we're getting a bunch of backlash about this. CNN, MSNBC, this is not a good look right here. Right. So Wednesday, you take it down. Now, my my whole problem with that is, for one, why did you post that? You know what kind of message that was saying as a president posting a video with somebody saying white power? It's the same thing it was Obama. I, I'm, not, right. I'm not a racist, but it was Obama posted a video with somebody saying black power as a president. If you post a video, you're a black president with somebody saying black power, that sends a bad message. Yeah, it's it like does. You're supporting black power. And even though I'm for the black, I'm just using that example. I'm for the black president, but I'm still standing on right and wrong. That's wrong mm -hmm. to do that. Black right. president. I'm for black right. power, but you shouldn't be posting nothing like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I, you I, feel like that. That's why you posted that. So when he did that, and posted it. That's how he really felt. I, so when it, I, when, it, when it got out there and then it came back like, whoa, 
whoa, you might have you you kind of went overboard with that one. Okay, let me take it down. Now the yeah. other side is this. Now don't take it down. Stand on what you believe. You believe that's mm-hmm. why you posted that. That's why you posted it. Don't take it down. Post it up there. And if somebody got something to say, you check them on that. You mm-hmm. tell them this is why I posted because this is how I feel. Don't take it down. That yeah. makes you look more guilty right there. Yeah. And, 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 Am I and making I sense? Am I making sense? Yeah, 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 you are making sense. I agree. There are some things that President Trump tweets that sometimes I wish he wouldn't. All right. I wish he would. Like, I can't say if he uh, watched the end because I'm going be honest. I done posted stuff like just for the headline of it. I posted it for the headline. Then somebody be like, hey, man, that, you know, they had this in it or that was in it. I'd be like, dang, I shouldn't. Now, I wasn't I would, supporting that. I was supporting the headline. And so I've done that before where I've had to take stuff down that I was looking at the headline but didn't read the story. And so I don't know if he did or not, but I wish he wouldn't have tweeted that because it makes my job harder trying to convince black people that you not – I've met you in person. I know you're not a racist person, but when you do stuff like that, it gives the other side ammunition to believe that. The president is whack, it's sad but it's true Unless you live in wealthy then he feel like fuck you The poor is gonna starve, the rich is gonna prevail Everybody pray it's about to be a living hell The president is whack, it's sad but it's true And if you went Republican he feel like fuck you The poor is gonna starve, the rich is gonna prevail So everybody pray it's about to be a living hell